Hey guys, this video is going to be on the December 18th and 19th devotional, Christmas devotional. And this one's called Dropping Hints of Hope. Okay, and this is our verse today. I think it's Amos or something like that, how you pronounce that. 3, 7. For the Lord God does nothing without revealing his secrets to his servants. And prophets. Okay, in the text here is kind of talking about Christmas and how you know it's a time for surprises and secrets. You know, like you have to keep your Christmas presents a surprise and stuff like that. But anyways, it talks about scripture tells us that God is a hint dropper. More than that, for those willing to listen, he shares his plans outright there is something warm and endearing about knowing that God wanted to share details about his son. Throughout the years, he was whispering pieces of his plan to the prophets. In Jeremiah, God saw his people wandering in the darkness and whispered, Don't give up, he is coming. He told Isaiah about the virgin birth. It is as if he just couldn't help but give hints about what was to come. He knew he had a perfect gift to give the world, and he wanted to prepare God's people for its delivery. Because of these holy whispers throughout history, believers were expecting Christ. There's so much we don't know about the way of God, yet because of Christmas, his love for us is no secret. His hints throughout history were fulfilled in a manger and continues to whisper good things to his children. For I know the plans I have for you, plans of welfare, not of evil, to give you a future and a hope. Jeremiah 29 11. May we tune our hearts to listen for God so that we don't miss the secrets he may want to whisper to us this season. And this is the pretty picture and it has a little prayer on there. Prayer on here, sorry. I get tongue tied. You are such a good father. You reveal great things that bring our heart comfort and joy. Amen. And then this one is December 19th and it says Christmas jammies. In the verse is John 3 verse 4. Nicodemus said to him, How can a man be born when he is old? Okay, I'm going to let you look. It really just talks about this family that was on YouTube. Well, I bet they were on YouTube and make their videos in Christmas pajamas. And it talks about, you know, that Christmas pajamas come in all shapes and sizes. And, you know, it would be sad if we... Oh, we're too old or big to do all the Christmas things like uh, throw snowballs, build snowmen, and, you know, gingerbread houses and stuff like that. But then it goes to say over here, Nicodemus was an old man. He was familiar with Jesus' teaching and wanted to know more because he was a ruler of the Jews. He went to question Jesus and to make sense of everything he had said. How could it be possible for someone to be born again to see the kingdom of God? This troubled Nicodemus because he was already old. Birth was a long time ago for him. Jesus gives us good news. We are never too old to choose God and to be born of the Spirit. We can have the faith of a child at any age. It is the Spirit of God that makes us new. As long as there is breath in our bodies, He can use us. There is no limit to what God can accomplish through a willing vessel. Okay, my mom was asking me a question, so I'm sorry if you can hear her asking me a question in the background. But I don't know where I was. But I'll just read this again. We can have faith of a child at any age. It is the Spirit of God that makes us new. As long as there is breath in our bodies, he can use us. There is no limit to what God can accomplish through a willing vessel. It is not too late 
Someone else won't be better suited for the job. We have not missed our chance. We are not too old for God to use us. Or for Christmas jammies. And we see the prayer. Look at the pretty tree on this page. It says, Use us, Lord. We may have the bodies of an adult, but give us the faith of a child. Amen. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Love you guys. Bye.